Hello guys, I am back with another review for Jocelyn's Cabaret Season 3. We are now on Episode 4. Unfortunately, I did not post an Episode 3 review because I had a lot of videos to post before that one. And as well as my cats had broke my old mic, so I had to order a new one on Amazon. So if you guys can tell a sound difference, let me know down below. But when I got my new mic, the episode was already coming out, so I just thought I'd skip the episode, but I did watch it. But just so you guys know, I do have two interviews coming out very soon. One with Judy from Bad Girls Club and another one with biggie from one more chance season two so be on the lookout for those two interviews coming in the next week but let's get into this episode review the episode starts off with gaia coming back to explain her side to jocelyn and the ladies and amber off the bat started instigating saying that lexi should do all the things to gaia that she said she was going to do to her when she had seen her which obviously lexi didn't want to do you guys know lexi's not really that much of a violent person but jocelyn gives gaia the floor to say her piece to the girls and gaia says that all the girls were scared to tell jocelyn how they really feel about her and then that's when we seen Kay Capri start to go off again. Gaia said that when she got there she never wanted to fight any of the girls and she said that she wanted it to be more of a sister circle and that's when Lexi Blow chimes in and she says that how is she gonna say it's a sister circle but the night before she wanted to attack Lexi. The argument continues on and Gaia starts to do some fake spell thing and then Jocelyn pretends to fall to the floor. I don't know if they're acting or if they're all in on it or if they're making fun of her but when Jocelyn fell to the floor I was kind of done watching the scene. After that lollipop and capri start asking if guy can even dance i don't even know where that came from because prior to this i don't remember any of them showing if they can dance or not but regardless gaia ended up getting on the pole and she did some pole tricks and she did pretty good to me but of course attention seeking capri says that she wanted to go up and i don't know about you guys but i personally don't really like capri i didn't really like her dance and i don't know if it's just because i don't like her attitude or don't like her but something about her i just really don't like i personally thought that gaia had did better but after capri's little show gaia walks off and amber follows her trying to convince her to stay guy had stood pretty strong though and she decided that she wanted to go home so she ends up leaving the house after Amber tries to convince Gaia to stay, she comes back and tells Jocelyn and the girls that Gaia had decided to leave. And Jocelyn didn't seem too phased by that. She moved on pretty quick and let the girls know that she was going to pick four dancers tomorrow to dance in her cabaret. The next day, it shows Amber, Lexi Blow, Riri, and Hennessy all practicing their moves. And Jocelyn comes in the room. And this is where we start to see Amber and Chanel talk about the cleaning incident the day before. Amber basically felt like Chanel was trying to act like she was better than the other girls by how she was talking to them. And Chanel felt like like Amber was the only one who had a problem with it and tried to challenge her authority. And to that, Amber was basically saying that she felt like Chanel wasn't really a good leader. And I'm not gonna lie, I do have to agree with Amber on that one. But moving on, the girls get in the van to go to the strip club and of course Capri decides to play producer and tells the girls what they can and can't post. And Capri starts saying that she's gonna have to teach the girls about some respect. I don't know why Capri felt so compelled to tell people what they can and can't post about Zeus like she's a part of production or something. It gets brought up that Wet Wet had posted a picture on Instagram and Capri starts telling her what she can and can't do. And Wet Wet says that if production had a problem, then that's an issue between them two. And I completely agree, even if Wet Wet did post something and producers had told her to take it down, that's between the producers and Wet Wet. Capri was going hard for no reason, like she has some type of authority, like she's not some other castmate. I kind of feel like Capri's a little bit miserable just from how much she's involved with what Wet Wet does and says. And I really don't know what else she does besides try to bully Wet Wet. And I do love me some Lexi Blow, but her and Chanel saying that they won't let Wet Wet get her phone back like they're a part of production too is just hilarious to me. I don't know why everyone in the van thought that they were production and has some type of authority like they're all not going to compete for the same thing i kind of feel like everyone tries to pick on wet wet one because she's very annoying yes but also because she's not a fighter if you say something to her she's just gonna say one of her rehearsed lines and then pull her boobs out so i feel like since people know she's not gonna get super aggressive like capri they say more things to her and try to get more bold with her we see that with chanel and lexi just the way they kind of talk to and about her and i feel like they wouldn't say those things about a lot of the ladies in the house but what happened in the van didn't really lead to much and then we seen the girls all in their stripper attire lined up and ready to dance and now i'm not trying to be mean but i personally felt like capri shouldn't even have been there and especially not have been trying to go first she knows damn well she should not have gone first I felt like Capri going up there with Raven and Diamond made her look even worse because in my personal opinion, I felt like Raven and Diamond were a lot more sexy. Even though they can't dance, I don't really think they needed to do much. Capri basically just did the same exact thing she did the day before when she was battling out with Gaia. 
In general, though, none of them did too well, but the next group to go up is Wet Wet, Chanel, Jordan, and Hennessy. I thought Chanel did good. Same for Jordan. She looked very comfortable on the pole, and Wet Wet didn't do too much, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with Hennessy, so I don't even know why she was there. Another Capri. But Amber, Lollipop, Riri, and Lexi Blow go up, and this was the best group thus far. Hence why that entire group got picked to be a part of her final cabaret. But Jocelyn says that she's going to call the girls to the stage, and they get to dance again and she sends the girls who she wasn't interested in to the back. Jordan, Riri, Lollipop, Lexi Blow, Chanel, and Amber get picked to dance again and the other girls go to sit down. The girls that Jocelyn picked got to perform solo and they all did their thing and after they all did their thing, Gaia came in with this church gown and some holy water and she ends up dancing and she took it off and poured the holy water all over her body while she stripped. A lot of the ladies were kind of judging her in their confessionals but Jocelyn seemed to like it and think that it was a little sexy but ultimately Jocelyn ends up saying that she's not sure how Jesus fits in with the cabaret. After Gaia had went up and danced, Wet Wet and some of the other girls were talking about how Gaia had a hairy bush and of course Capri chimes in again and she's trying to play producer with Wet Wet. Capri is trying to tell Wet Wet that she won't shut up and she keeps interrupting Jocelyn but to me Capri making a scene about Wet Wet was only taking away from Jocelyn even more. She was being just as disruptive as Wet Wet if not more so she was doing the exact same thing that she claimed to be mad at Wet Wet for. But Jocelyn moves on and in her final five she ends up picking Riri, Lollipop, Jordan, Lexi Blow and the last two standing there were Amber and Chanel. Jocelyn ends up picking Amber and I kind of knew she was gonna do that just from a storyline perspective. If Jocelyn would have picked Chanel it would have been a little too obvious it would have made for less drama because Amber and Chanel just had their drama and this was basically Amber kicking out the captain Chanel. Do I think Amber deserves that slot over Chanel? No, but I can understand why she was chosen. But after the five ladies get chosen, Capri starts to get into it with Wet Wet again. And before I give my opinion on that, I really just want to say this. If you guys haven't seen, I posted a few lives with Capri in them and she has been talking a lot about the show, Zeus Network, Jocelyn and the fans coming for her basically saying that she's a man. But if you guys have seen those lives, she yells quite a bit and she seems very bothered by what people have to say about her on social media. But I will say it makes it a little hard for me to feel bad for Capri for all the hate she's getting when all she has done this season so far is spill out hate. Hate just kind of spills out of her, even when she's arguing with Wet Wet, she keeps trying to bring her down, calling her ugly, talking about her body and more. I just feel like if you're a hateful person, you're always worried about what other people are doing, it kind of shows on you. I don't know if she was expecting everyone to be on her side when the episodes were going to air, but that's not the case for me at least. But as they're arguing, Capri throws water at Wet Wet and Wet Wet throws something back and then Capri runs up only to slip and this is when I was starting to root for Wet Wet the most. When Capri was towering over Wet Wet and of falling down all i can think about was wet wet kicking her in the face or kneeing her or something because if we're fighting and i'm still standing and you're on the floor that's just the first thing i'm gonna think of period and the episode ends in the middle of that fight and next week it looks like there's gonna be quite a few more fights between wet wet and gaia it also looks like wet wet gets into it with raven as well as diamond i'm definitely looking forward to that but let me know what you guys thought about episode four in the comments down below how did you guys feel about capri constantly coming for wet wet i want to know your thoughts about that thank you guys so much for watching see you in the next one bye